It is currently 1.58 p.m. and I am back home from my camping trip. I just wrapped everything up from this morning. Now I'm getting into my artificial intelligence work. Basically my plan for today, there's this paper that's been sitting on my desk for a while. It's a review or survey of generative agents. And so I'll link to that in the description in case you're curious. But my plan is basically just to read through that, get an idea of how their long-term memory systems work so that I can build from the work that I did last week with the stream of thoughts. Yeah, that's the plan. Just go read through that paper and then see how I can improve what I did last week. I had recorded the audio for this part as I was recording the video, but something went wrong and now the audio just kind of sounds like so I'm going to quickly record this voiceover for you instead. Basically what I'm saying is I went and read the paper I was talking about. There was some new information. It was mostly just, there wasn't much about the memory systems. The main memory system it was covering was the one that I had like deeply studied and it's the one from the generative agents paper. So I already knew about it. And so I didn't spend much time on the paper. Instead, I decided to spend some time making my assistant more accessible by giving it a phone number so that I could actually text it. Here I'm trying to demonstrate this new phone number that I gave. So I'm typing hello and when I sent it, it didn't work. So here I am running downstairs to go and fix it. And now I'll pass you back to present Nicholas instead of uh, currently editing Nicholas to carry on with the rest of this video. Okay, I quickly restarted the script. Let's try this again. If I type hello. Then it will respond. How can I assist you today? Then I'll just say introduce yourself. And then it will respond. So basically, right now this is just texting like a chat GPT default. But now I can actually implement my commands and use them from my phone. And I can also begin implementing memory so that I can actually remember things and I can text it through conversations. Now the problem I need to solve with this is that multiple phones are just communicating with the same conversation. It doesn't matter who texts it from where, it's all the same GPT context. So that's the next step. Last update before I log off for today, it is 6.04 p.m. So a couple hours after my last update, I got it working. So now different people can text the assistant and it'll keep different threads or conversations per different number that it's actually taking. So that's all done. I can't really demonstrate it though because I'm using one phone to record the other phone and I, yeah, it's complicated. Anyways, so that's all done. I think today I'm just going to, I have a few more tasks to do, just like admin tasks, and then I'm just gonna read for a bit and then go to sleep. So yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm glad I was able to implement this assistant into actual text messages so I can actually text it now and make it more useful and accessible, which is cool. I'm excited to see it. It is currently 12.03 p.m. and I don't have a lot of time for development today, but instead of actually developing and doing that kind of stuff, I have a call coming up with someone who built a incredibly low latency chatbot. So it just responds to you with speech incredibly quickly. So right now I'm just basically compiling my list of questions so that I have them all in one place. So during the call, I don't fumble and forget what I actually wanted to ask. So. Yeah, that's what I'm currently doing. Just compiling questions so that this call goes well. Hello, it is now Friday, 10.43 p.m. I am not home and I've been away for most of the week or I've just been busy for most of the week. So I was a lot more productive at the beginning of the week and then haven't done much since. I've done a lot of like background processes, like just updating some scripts to make them a little cleaner, but it's basically the same thing. I can text my assistant and it can do things based on those tech, but the actual capabilities haven't improved, just the readability I'm beginning to get some work on the long-term memory done, but um, yeah, up until now it's all set up. So I hope you enjoyed this week's video and I will see you next week on Tuesday. So thank you for watching.